Hello, this is Dr. C, and this is How to Evaluate Online Sources of Information. To see your library's recommendation, enter your school's name and search for How to Evaluate Online or Good Sources of Information. Click the first option or whichever option works for your school. Now, here's the CCC Online recommendations. You will notice we have several choices, including the step-by-step -step evaluation process, the CRAAP test, which have five criteria for evaluating web pages, and we have a practice site for practicing your new skills for evaluating the quality of the information. Well, let's look at the first one step-by-step -step evaluation process. Look at the author. Look at the date of publication. Is it current? Is it recent? Is it still applicable? What about the edition or have there been revisions? The publisher and the title of the journal. Look at the content. Is it objective or are they trying to sell you something? Look at the coverage. How much material do they cover? The writing style, if it's of poor quality, is it a good source for you? And then the evaluative reviews. Next, the CRAAP test has several videos, so scroll down and watch the videos. Right? What is the CRAAP test? It's talking about the currency of information. right? Is it recent or is it out of date? This doesn't mean that older information is not valuable. But the state of knowledge changes. Reliability. How reliable is it? Is it objective or based on opinion? Authority. Did it come from an expert or at least someone who knows what they're talking about? Or, you know, is it someone who's trying to sell you something? What's the purpose or the point of view they're expressing? This comes from Molly Bistrom. We would like to thank her for the crap test. And now, Let's apply your mad skills, right? <laughs> Go to practice evaluating websites and look at some of these sites and see for yourself which ones pass the crap test. I'm Dr. C and this has been how to evaluate online sources of information. See you online.